As a kid, I was always an avid fan of rom-coms. Movies like 27 Dresses, The Notebook and Pretty Woman were on constant repeat within my house. They gave me a sense of what romance and love were meant to be like and that's why I enjoyed them so much. But now, being grown up, the one thing that sticks out in my mind the most is the fact that the main character always seems to meet their love interest face to face. These days, that's a lot more rare. Most of the time these days, dating occurs within an app like Tinder or maybe on a website like eHarmony or Match.com. By heading to these websites to find your potential match, it cuts out the face-to-face -face interaction. By losing this, you could some people might say that you're losing an integral part of the dating process. You lose the first reaction to what they look like. You lose your first reaction to their personality. And you lose the potential spark that you have meeting face-to-face -face for the first time. Tinder is the best example of a dating app gone wrong. It was created to be a good old honest dating app which allowed you to find people who had an interest in you based on your photo. However, these days, Tinder is now used mainly to hook up. People judge you on what photos you present, therefore judging on your looks. And by either swiping left and saying no, they don't want to continue a relationship with you. Or swiping right and saying yes, they do. Most of the time, the people on the app are just using it to find someone to sleep with. Because of this, most people who go on Tinder to use it seriously are no longer looking for a relationship. They know about the app, they know about its reputation, so the people on there are all looking for the same thing. While it works for them, it is now no longer a suitable option for those people out there who are looking to date rather than just hook up. Sophie DeMarcy has stated that online dating sites are typically constructed as places where conventionally established ideals of intimacy can be exchanged. Now, while this can still be true for Tinder, as a sexual act can still be classed as a form of intimacy, this definition of an online dating site and why people flock to them is more relevant to traditional dating sites such as eHarmony or Match.com. Due to the nature of apps such as Tinder, teens in our society are more at risk than ever. The sexual nature of the app means that people from anywhere that you've matched with can send you anything that they like, including some not so appropriate pictures. Teens are also at risk because of this because they cannot control what happens to pictures that they send or get sent. This means that anything that they can send can then be used for notions such as revenge porn. Dating online in this day and age also takes on many different forms. You no longer just have to use standard dating sites or apps, you can search out other websites which can be used for the same purpose. One example of this is an avatar based site called My Second Life. It's a site where you can create an avatar to look however they want and then you get to virtually move through the world whilst taking on the persona of that avatar. Through this app you can meet people, talk to them, same as any normal dating website or messenger service. People like to think of themselves as constituted of one persona, the real them, but in reality online dating and just being online in general offers people many many chances to change that persona. By changing your persona, you're creating a whole new you which people are attracted to, which can be one of the downsides of online dating, especially through sites such as My Second Life. Due to apps like this giving you the options to change the way you look, people are becoming more at risk of falling trapped to catfishing. Catfishing is a term which basically means that you're talking with someone who isn't who they say they are. MTV show Catfish goes into detail about cases where people have actually been catfished in real life. Sometimes it is by the creepy old guy on the other end of the computer, but other times it's people that are scared by the way they look or even people of the same gender who are too scared to approach someone that they like. Sometimes it's harmless. 
but also it can be very harmful to our society. Traditional dating sites and apps used solely for the purpose of dating are now no longer the only way to forge a connection with people in a romantic way. Recently over in the States, Snapchat was used to find love. Vikings fan and Memorial Library girl who attended the University of Wisconsin uh, used their Snapchat story to find each other. Memorial Library Girl noticed the Vikings fan on the story and posted a snap herself saying that she'd love to meet him and that she wanted to hang out. Through a series of back and forth snaps uh, between the two, they eventually met and seemed to fall in love. Not only were these two involved, but the whole campus seemed to enjoy the story. I recently watched a YouTube video on it of a comp compilation of the snaps and people from all over campus were commenting on their relationship. It was essentially th their entertainment for the night and it ended up with a good result. Vikings fan and Memorial Library girl met and I actually just watched an interview with the two of them and it seems they're still going strong. Now Snapchat was never designed for the purpose of dating. It's designed so you can send pictures to people that you know and so they can see them and that they eventually go away. With the introduction of location-based stories and tags, it made Vikings fan and Memorial Library Girls job easier. Online dating in 2016 has taken on many forms. Most people still use Tinder to find a random hookup now and then. People still use eHarmony and Match.com to find their potential true love or a real relationship. And then there's those people who like to use other apps for purposes they weren't made for. Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, just anything you can think of that in this online dating world there is a potential that you will find love.